Welcome to the Volfix channel. In this video, we will talk about the reverse chart, explain this tool's idea and how to use it in trading. You can open a reverse chart in any chart window. In the th chart calculation type field, select a reverse chart and click apply. Reverse chart can be displayed in cluster or double cluster charts, box chart, bar chart and line chart. The idea behind the reverse chart is to find reversal points in the market. There are two key parameters in the reverse chart, volatility and model. They are counted in pips. So, the volatility parameter is responsible for the trend breaks we see on the chart. For example, for the chart to reverse, the price must move for pips in the opposite direction. This is the specified value in the volatility field on the control panel. When the price passes for pips, we see the local trend reverse on the chart. The model parameter is calculated according to the same principle, but it is responsible for the coloring of the chart. If we start to increase the volatility parameter, we see that the chart begins to change. In other words, there are fewer trend breaks as the criteria for the chart to show a trend break increase. And similarly, for the model, with an increase in the model parameter, the chart starts to be colored differently. How is the model calculated? When the price passes the specified number of pips against the current trend, the chart is colored in the opposite color. Now the price is falling, and the chart is red because it moved against the recent uptrend 12 pips or more. The chart will turn green again only when the price goes 12 pips in the opposite direction of the downtrend, thus showing a trend reversal. And the idea is to pick up the optimal volatility and model parameters that would signal trend reversals with greater probability. How can the reverse chart be used in trading? First is a disclaimer, the reverse chart cannot be the only signal for opening positions. It should be used only in combination with other market analysis tools. Using the example of yesterday's trading session, let's consider how this tool can be implemented into our strategy. After 10 a.m., we see that a downtrend began. We observe lower highs and understand there is a high probability of a further decline. With the help of the reverse chart, we can determine how much the instrument has passed after we receive a reversal signal. For example, at this point from the high after moving down 12 pips, and let me remind you, this is the parameter at which the reverse chart gives a signal for a reversal. The price in the same direction has passed another 9 pips. Here, after the signal for a reversal, the price has passed 22 pips. Next, after 12 pips move, it falls another 17. In this case, about 20 pips have passed. 9 pips. And here, 12 pips. Thus, after the reverse chart gives us a reversal signal, the price moves on average from 12 to 20 pips more. And we can count on this potential move when opening a position. But this does not mean that after we receive a reversal signal, we immediately open a short position and wait for the price to drop by the 20th of December pips. Additionally, we use other analysis tools to find a good entry point, cluster chart volumes, tick charts, market depth, and so on. In other words, the reverse chart gives us the probability the local trend is changing and allows us to identify an average potential for growth or decline within this short-term trend. Next, let's look at the reverse chart on the example of a cluster chart. Here we can see how many pips the price passes after the reverse chart shows a reversal. The first for reversal pips are brighter colors. If we change the volatility, we see that the first six pips are colored. If, on the line chart, we determine the trend reversal by color, then in the cluster chart, we can specify the volatility parameter equal to the model parameter, 12 pips, and the same reversal formations as on the line chart with the model of 12, we can see on the cluster and do the same research. Thus, by the number of clusters, 
we immediately see how much the instrument passes after the reverse chart signals a reversal. To see the chart's color by the model parameter, as we saw in the line chart, we need to activate the cluster frame in the settings. Thus, clusters are built based on volatility, and the frames are colored according to the model parameter. While on a line chart, the chart itself is colored according to the model. The vertical histogram has such a parameter as the reversal volume. Go to the histogram settings, set up studies vertical histogram. And in the list, select reverse initial volume. This histogram shows only the volume that reversed the local trend based on the volatility parameter. In other words, those highlighted clusters volume, bright green or bright red, is summarized and displayed on a vertical histogram. The number of clusters that are highlighted is equal to the volatility parameter. Based on this histogram, we can identify how much volume caused the local trend to reverse. For example, in this case, quite a lot of volume reversed the trend. And based on this, we can conclude whether this signal is relevant. On a higher volatility parameter, we can check if there is a correlation between the size of the reversal volume and the number of pips passed after the reversal signal. The reverse chart settings can be found in Setup Settings Miscellaneous. By reverse is the color of the reversal volume and by outside reverse is the color of the rest of the bar. And similarly for cell reverse. That's all for now. If you have any additional questions regarding indicators, please contact our technical support by the contacts in the description. Thank you for watching.